Good afternoon. We are here at the end of Mauritius Island Road in East Mauritius, looking at Hart's Cove. It is here that we will be working to create the first oyster bar reef in the town of Brookhaven. What's an oyster reef? Oyster reef is a lot of shells, spent shells, that turned into a reef that you put live oyster spat on top of where oysters can grow. How did that reef get created? Well, a lot of it got created through the work of Sea Tuck. Maureen Dunn is here with me. And the town has a program, Half Shells for Habitat. We collect spent shells from seafood restaurants, and then we use those shells, we store them, we dry them, and at some point, we use them to create this reef, and Maureen's gonna talk a little bit about this. And why do we do this? Because we're in partnership with a couple other partners here. A key partner is the Mauritius Bay Project, and we have Laura Fabrizio from that project, and she's going to tell you a little bit about what they did. And we have Greg Verrer from Cornell Cooperative Extension. What's the purpose? To regrow oysters here in Hart's Cove. And we supply at least 70,000 oyster seeds, tiny little things, spats sometimes they're called, to Mauritius Bay Project. I've worked on this project with the people standing in front of Anthony Graves is there, our environmental guy, uh, chief environmental analyst for the town. We've worked in a cooperative effort to bring this project about. So the, my one key partner in town government in, in getting this done is our councilman and deputy supervisor, Dan Panico. I'm going to turn this over to him, and he can explain a little bit more and introduce each of these people to explain how this program came together, what we're doing, and what the outcome will be. Dan, come on up. Thank you, Ed. Oops. And thank you all uh, for coming. Our environment and our economy are tied together. Uh, this project helps both. Uh, our environment and our economy. Uh, it's been a collaboration. It's always been a collaboration through the town of Brookhaven, uh, not-for-profits, a variety of individuals that make this happen. And this isn't just one thing that we do. Uh, we've joined together many times to uh, in occasions like this to help improve water quality uh, and to get the water quality and putting oysters and hard shells in our bay is, is part of the uh, part of the program that we uh, we try to encourage and one of the most enthusiastic people uh, that we partner with uh, with regard to growing oysters uh, is Laura Fabrizio from the Merch's uh, Bay Project and I want to bring her up to say a few words. Hi. Um, first, I want to say thank you to both Dan and Ed and Greg. Um, on, be on behalf of the Mauritius Bay Project, I would like to thank the town of Brookhaven and Cornell Cooperative Expense Extension for their support. We are thrilled to partner with them on this five-year project to continue our efforts of improving water quality in our local bays. With this installation of this bar, the Mauritius Bay Project will reach its goal of putting 750,000 oysters in the bay this season, filtering over 3.5 million gallons of water every single day. Um, it's a community effort, and we thank um, the town, Cornell, and many other community members. Thank you. And now we'll have uh, the man with the most distinguishable voice uh, from our environmental department, Anthony Graves. I'm happy to be here today, and uh, in environmental protection, we're very happy about this collaborative project. Cornell Cooperative Extension was great in getting the permit and doing the design and creating the live shell spat that will go towards creating the reef. We are growing uh, oysters in our facility in Mount Sinai that we will also be using to supplement the population on the reef and working with the Mauritius Bay Project and SeaTuck Environmental Association has also been rewarding. We're happy too that by SeaTuck's efforts collecting the shells from the restaurant, we've taken 11,000 pounds of oyster shell, prevented it from going into the landfill and used it as a resource to help restore our coastlines and to protect our water quality. So it really is a win-win all around. And we are happy to have the support of our partners on it. Thank you. Greg? 
I want to thank all the project partners because without the town, uh, Sea Tuck, the Half Shells Habitat Program, and Merchant Bay Project, we wouldn't have the place, the uh, the funding, or the shells to uh, pull this project off. I'm heading up the technical part of it, and for the next five years, we'll be working here, looking at fish populations that use the reef, looking at oyster growth and survival, as well as if any uh, new baby oysters land on our shells. And we're putting some spat on shell down. So this is a uh, recycled oyster shell with baby oysters on it, producing our hatchery in Southold. And the town and Merchants Bay are also gonna put some single oysters on the reef as well. So I think we're gonna have a really nice, nice setup here and stay tuned, thank you. Thank you, and I want to introduce Maureen Dunn from SeaTuck, who helped us and is part of our. And you can hold up the sign. <laughs> this is our half shells for habitat logo. We have a Facebook page too. Um, I'm the water quality scientist at SeaTuck, and we were looking for the way to make the biggest impact to improve water quality in our bays and uh, recycling oyster shells, recovering oyster shells from restaurant was um, what we saw as the best way to do that to, to begin with. So we're really excited about the project and, and pleased to be a participant in working with these great uh, groups here. So I thank you very much and thank you, Supervisor. Thank you. Sure, well, I'll just say this is, again, not only beneficial to uh, our environment, it keeps these shells, all of this material from going into our landfill. And it's in the same vein as keeping all of the spent grain from our breweries, taking all of the used uh, coffee grinds that we're using now and have a program to give out to feed livestock. We want to keep as little going into our landfill as possible. And when you can get an adaptive reuse of spent oyster shells like this, uh, it's beneficial to everyone. I, I thank all of our partners. And as they say at Chick Fillet, they say eat more chicken. Well, in the town of Brookhaven, eat more oysters because these shells we're putting to great use. So if you're going out, order the oysters and we will make sure the shells that you eat them from are reused to clean the water in our bay. Uh, any questions? Yeah, um, I'm sorry if you had already said this, but where is the reef? Gonna be exactly. We can take a walk over It's there it's marked there by those uh, those sticks uh, just off the uh, yeah. just off the shore. And yeah. I want to thank all of the restaurants that participate in our half shells for habitat. So any seafood restaurant, any restaurant that is serving clams or particularly oysters, we're looking for oyster shells. We take the the oyster shells, we bring them up to our compost facility in Matterville. We stack and store them there. They dry out for at least six months to a year, and then they're ready to be used as a basis for a reef on which live oysters can grow on top of. So if you're a restaurant and you're tossing shells and it's filling up your garbage cans, we'll take them off your hands. We'll stop by and collect them once a week, once every two weeks, depending on whatever schedule you have, how many people eat oysters, hopefully everyone, and we'll take them off your hands we'll use them and put them to use it's we believe in recycling as many products as we can in the town of brookhaven and this is just another example of taking oyster shells and putting them to good use and using them as a basis of an oyster reef this is the first oyster reef in brookhaven town 